Okay, welcome back to Let's Play Warcraft 3. I think we're on the last mission now. I only have two hours before I can go to bed. I don't know if I'll be able to finish it because uh, apparently the last mission's quite the doozy, but uh, I'll try my best and see how far I can get. Uh, interlude, boiling point. Hours later near the base of Ice Crown Glacier, King Arthas and Anubarak finally reached the main stronghold of the Scourge. We've made it in Ubarak. Our forces are already assembled and waiting. Greetings, King Arthas. You've arrived just in time. Illidan's Naga and Blood Elf forces have taken up positions at the base of the glacier. And... Arthas, my champion. Master? There is a fracture in my prison, the frozen throne, and my energies are seeping from it. That is why your powers have diminished. But how? The rune blade Frostmourne was once locked inside the throne as well. I thrust it from the ice so that it would find its way to you, and then lead you to me. And so it has. Now, we face a grave danger. My creator, the demon lord Kil'jaeden, sent his agents here to destroy me. If they should reach the frozen throne before you, all will be lost. The scourge will be undone. Now hurry. I will grant you all the power I can spare. I saw another vision of the Lich King. He has restored my powers. I know now what I must do. It's time to end the game. Once and for all. Chapter 8. A Symphony of Frost and Flame. Moments later at the Scourge Stronghold, King Arthas and Anubarak make their final plans to defend the Lich King's throne chamber. I guess this is a reference to A Song of Ice and Fire. Sometimes I forget that the first Game of Thrones book is actually kind of old. Time's running out, Anubarak. We've got to get inside the throne chamber before Illidan does. The throne chamber lies within the frozen peak at the center of the valley. It can only be opened by activating the four enchanted obelisks that surround it. Illidan's forces have already entrenched themselves near two of them. We'll need to drive them back and reactivate the obelisks ourselves. We're sorry to interrupt your meditation, Master, but all our forces are in place. Once the chamber is opened, we will destroy the Frozen Throne, as promised. Then the hour has come at last. After today, the Scourge will meet its end. Can you hear me out there, Arthas? Its end! Illidan has mocked the Scourge long enough. It's time to put the fear of death back in him. Okay. What do we got? Speak, fool. This is more like it. What is it now? Ah, uh, at last. Okay, Arthas this is level two still. No one. I was hoping when he uh, when they said uh, he got his powers back, that it'd be more like a uh, level ten. Shit, that's too cool. Speak, fool. I guess he's gonna like slowly level throughout the mission. No Sacrificial skulls. Who are those two? Okay. 
Okay, you can skip the mine. And then try to get a Necropolis. I gladly no one orders me around. Okay. Finally. Uh, okay, that's just to exit. Stayed hidden underground. Finally. Uh, okay. You guys can stay there. Master, I bow to your will. My fate is seen. You guys go on the mine. Okay, we're no gonna want the ghouls on lumber since they can. Okay. Foolish undead. This obelisk belongs to me. Okay, so uh, we gotta take all four of them, and I guess he can take them back. I think I have to let him have that one. I don't think I can stop him that soon. He probably has like a whole big base up north. Tread lightly. Frostmorn hungers. How much gold's in this mine? Ah, bit? at last. This is more like it. Ah. At Just last. Gonna quickly explore. Frostmorn hungers. Finally. This is more like it. Frostmorn hungers. Ah, uh, at last. I have to guess that Finally. they aren't just gonna attack me immediately. Your pain shall be legendary. I'll consume the living is complete. Our forces are under attack. <laughs> Speak. Speak. This is one. Alright, uh, Earth, let's go last. back. Talisman of Evasion. Okay. Uh. What is it now? This is more like it. Frostmorn hungers. What is it now? Finally. Alright, I gotta check what those uh, Finally. sacrificial skulls are. Frostmorn hungers. Inventory is full. Right, come on, put uh, it down. At last. Okay, ghouls. Oh, it puts a uh, plate down. Okay. This is more like. Uh, I'll I'll grab those Frostmorn later on then. Hungers. Finally. Okay. Where shall my blood spill? Great cigarettes. My cigarettes. Um. My fate is sealed. No one time is fleeting. Oh, do I need Arthas? Speak, fool. Down here. Is complete. Okay, Illidan's going. Summon I, I think no I need to go. Around. Thy bidding, master. What is it now? You know what? Let's go. Finally. What are they doing? Are they actually just coming here first? Ah. Uh. At last. That's not good. The dam stand ready. Oh shit. Speak, Our forces are under attack. This is more like it. Frostborn hunger. I might have to let him have it. Our town is under attack. Tread lightly. The dam stand Frostborn hunger. Uh, where's that one Summer dude? Is no one. Our forces are under attack. I bow to your will. Okay, that's a bit of a problem. Dang it, Illidan. What is it now? Can I fight them off? Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna like restart right away and. Actually, no, I'm gonna scout. Like Scouting mission. Ah, uh, at last. I'll be scouting. Our town is under attack. Okay, okay go fight these. Speak, fool. Okay, there's another gold mine right Frost here, actually. This is mine. I do kind of want to see what happens when Illidan gets the uh, all the obelisks. Ah, uh, at last. Finally. Ah, uh, at last. Frostmorn hungers. This is more like it. Ah, uh, 
At last. Okay, that's the blood off base over there. Frostmourne hungers. At least. This is more like it. Yeah, they're probably all up this there. Is more like it. Okay, that's uh. Ah, uh, at last. Finally, Frostmourne hungers. Ah, uh, at last. Are under attack. Yeah, this is more like I know. Frostmourne hungers. It's the Naga base. Finally. Okay, so it looks like so Ilden goes for this one and then I guess he immediately comes for this one. Or maybe it's because I killed the units. I'll have to see if he acts differently next time I go for it. So I want to see what's over here. Okay, there's another. Okay, that's like a big Naga base. Okay, so there's like three different factions kind of at last. and then there's some more Frostmourne Naga over hungers. here oh and a mine over here okay at last. what's up there oh just more Naga this is more okay Fine. All shall be revealed. okay so there's a kill space I'll look into it let's see I'll look into it. All shall be revealed. I go unseen. Oh, look, they made a little snowman. That's cute. All shall be revealed. Kale. Just kale, not kale, please. I shall be your eyes. Um. Let's see. I go unseen. Can I? I wonder if I can destroy I'll look that into base. It. Looks pretty Let's hefty. See. I go unseen. See towers everywhere. Um, I'm assuming. I don't know if I can tell rank master. Yeah, they've like I upgraded all their eyes. units. Uh. All shall be revealed. Okay, and I'm assuming there's like a gigantic naga base it. over here. Let's see. Okay, where's Illidan? I want him to hurry up and get the last obelisk so I can see what happens. And then I can I go unseen. Start redoing us. But hopefully better. All shall be revealed. Oh, I'll look into is there anything it. over there? Can I even get over there? No, okay, so that's Illidan's I think that's Illidan's base over there. I don't think it. I can get get to that. All shall be revealed. You and your Lich King duped me once, but now I have the upper hand. Okay, so he's going. I'll look into it. He's going for the last All one. All shall be revealed. I wonder if I can destroy Vash's base. That might be the play. I'm thinking uh, Illidan's base is unreachable unless I get boat somehow. And then Kale's shall be is plausible. Let's see. Let's see. Oh gosh, is, that's actually a pretty big base. She's got the real guards. All shall be revealed. All shall be revealed. Okay, Illidan, going. Okay. Let's see. I mean, maybe. I think this one's the most. Okay, they got like. I'll it's three unit it. producing, and it's like three towers. I'll yeah, I, I could probably take this base. Right. Mission failed. Any cutscenes? Nope. Okay. Bit disappointing. I was hoping for an epic cutscene, but... I guess that comes with victory. Okay, welcome to the voiceover edition. This is a few days later. I had continued uh, the first day for a while, but I ended up cutting it because I didn't really get anywhere. I did learn a lot though. So to start off, we're just going to clear out this base as fast as possible. Um, yeah, nothing much to say. Just got to clear out the base. In my previous attempts, I did manage to get two of the obelisks and like I had like two bases around it, but I, I just... I couldn't really get a third because I'd always- it's just constant attacks. Like Illidan is just constantly attacking. Like if you kill him as soon as he revives he's like coming for you again and then uh, Kale and Vash also attack. 
So I, I had tried to get all the obelisks without destroying their bases, but uh, that didn't work because like you you just can't. It's like you might claim a new uh, obelisk, but like in the meantime, they've already taken your other one. Um, so yeah, just trying to get the mine and necropolis up and running as fast as possible. I uh, left a couple ghouls in the back just to make sure I had them for wood. So yeah, I, in the end, I, uh, I well, in the end, I didn't get anywhere. So I, I just went to bed and I, I looked up other people's strategies and how to do this mission. And what they suggested was you just you just hold on to one base, uh, usually the southern base or the obelisk, I should say, and then you destroy Vash's base and then you destroy Kale's base, and then you. Yes, yes, it'll then. Yeah, and, and then you go um, for the rest of the Oblis. So then you don't have Vash and Kale uh, bothering you, just Illidan. And it's a lot easier to handle. So that's what I'm going to do. First off, we're just going to clear these out. There is that mine up on the west uh, side. I, I'm just going to ignore that for now. Um, I'll get it later. So Illidan gets the first obelisk, and then we'll get the second pretty soon. Speak, fool. Our forces are under attack. Uh, sending an alkaline down. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna cut out of this video. Uh, the recording is so it took me, according to the timer in the uh at the end it took this took me two hours and that's not accounting for like reloads which i have cut out like i've already cut out that stuff from this footage that i'm talking over um i just i don't know how much of the remaining footage i'm going to cut out a any kind of quiet spots where i'm just sitting around waiting say for upgrades or units to be produced or an attack i'll probably end up cutting out um because it is two hours of footage and i don't really want my videos to be two hours uh, so yeah, setting up a, uh, what is it, ne Necropolis, um, cause I, I, to, uh, make Alkalites with, and, but then also, uh, the Necropolis is, if you upgrade them, they, they're just big bulkier ziggurats. So I'm sending the shade up north, so, uh, I can tell when Kale's about to come. Um, and yeah. I realize uh, I didn't pick up the item, so I'm gonna send uh, a noob down there to uh, pick it up. See to it. So yeah, Something made a crypt, and I, I always keep forgetting the ziggurats. Uh, I make a bunch here. I end up not upgrading them actually, because like aside from like maybe one or two attacks from Vash, this base isn't really going to be attacked. They're, they're mostly going to go for the bases around the obelisks. So you don't actually need to like set up a whole bunch of defenses around your uh, first base. So there's the uh, necropolis is done, so I send the ghouls in to get wood. Um, Then once I get once you get the resources going, you basically have unlimited resources. I mean, not quite unlimited, but uh, well, I think like wood is your uh, limiting factor for a while, but eventually it you get enough where it's not an issue. So one thing I'm gonna do is pick up these. Uh, I can't remember what they're called, but they put blight on the ground. Um, another tip I read online is if you put a blight on the ground, it uh, it uh, helps heal your units while you're fighting. And, and paired with uh, Arthas's unholy aura, that's it's actually quite a bit Summoning of like regeneration. Is Summoning is complete. So I see so because of that shit, I saw Kale's forces right. I don't actually know which base he's gonna go out. Oh, there he is. Like I wasn't really sure. Like it was he gonna go for my first base or my newer base? Because uh, like I said, they. For the most part, they tend to go after the bases around the obelisks rather than uh, the one other ones around the edges. So yeah, I'm adding more alkalites there because no my all my zurats are uh, up. Got the food. Um, 
making more alkalites yeah, for there, and then I gotta upgrade all my stuff. I think I'm just kind of like now? looking, like, what can I upgrade right now? The dam at last. I'll probably end Frost up cutting this out. The dam so there's a Vash's attack. It, they got distracted by the meat wig in there. Um, and Ilden has claimed to Obelisk now, so the north and the east. I, I haven't actually claimed the southern one yet. I, I, I think I just forgot to do it, but also I wasn't sure how the claiming it affects the AI. Uh, Illidan's AI is a bit strange, I found, um, in him, like how he picks like which one to go after. I think, we'll notice, you'll see that later on, but uh, he, I, I don't know, it's, he, there, there's some sort of weird AI thing going on there, like he does try to pick your kind of weaker base no sometimes, I, I don't know. And there's me realizing uh, oh wait I can pick up more than one I sacrificial see. skull at a time they stack um what is it now so I'm worried uh, Illidan's gonna come attack the southern base so I'm leaving my units there so I, here I am uh so here I, I have uh, built up a bunch of ziggurats around uh this place, and I've also put a a, a shop here because I thought like, oh, I should I should have the shop like where my heroes are gonna hang out, right? What is it now? And then I also want the shop early on so I can make the obsidian destroyers, which are uh, very useful against Illidan's forces. Because uh, Illidan, he has those uh, I don't know, sea witches or whatever they're called. Like, no, Vash is a sea witch. It's like. The sirens or whatever they, they put the frost shields no on on the units and you basically want the destroyers to uh devour the shields and then the causes the devourers or the uh, destroyers to do a bunch of uh damage i'm just killing some tusker there they were just minding their own business fishing Uh, so there we go, I'm making a uh, slaughterhouse, and then also I want to make a temple of the damned. I'm trying to decide where I want to put it. Not there. The uh, I end up going because my first few attempts at this mission, I wasn't really sure what like the best units were, so I did experiment a lot. Mostly, I started out just making a whole bunch of crypt fiends. And then, uh, and then yeah, I finally researched webs, but like that wasn't really working. And I tried like frost worms, and I, I tried like a whole bunch of destroyers. I, I do want some destroyers, but just not like I don't need like a whole army of them. Um, what is it now? I don't think I tried a bombs. There, I'm just buying more blight sticks. No one orders me around. Um, what else did I try? Uh, I think it's mostly just crypt fiends and necromancers. I, I end up, you'll see later, I end up going for the uh, mass necromancer route. Because the, uh, the skeletons are very useful when it comes to softening up the enemy. I'm still pretty low on wood. So I'm like trying to like decide which towers I want to upgrade. Speak. I'm also watching for Illidan because I, I feel like he should attack soon. He tends to, once he takes an obelisk, that you do ha get a bit of a reprieve where he uh, doesn't attack you for a while, but I see he's on the move now. Speak, fool. I, I'm not sure like where he's going quite yet. I think uh, it's like, oh, he's going to the what western one. So I think I, I'm kind of like eyeing my uh, like what I can make. Your lich king duped me once, but now I have the upper hand. No one wakes. I'm just leaving some. Uh, I think initially I left the crypt fiends there because, like I said, sometimes Vash will come and attack you, your base there. But like since I have this base now, I don't think she attacks. I think even. Like both Kale and Vash will come after this, the uh, obelisk base rather than the I other one. Die. So I want to upgrade my uh, 
uh, ne necropolis. So there's me just finally remembering to put down a, uh, uh, wh whatever the hero revive is thing Who is called. A like Altar of the Dam, maybe? I don't know. Uh, um, I see kills coming. This is more like no one so, sending them in. Find a noob is a uh, very bulky, unlike Arthas. Of course, Arthas is like only level four at this point. I can't use my uh, spikes on these guys because they're immune to magic. You'd think spikes wouldn't be magic damage, but whatever. Or they're a spell, technically. But uh, whatever. Get the beetles. I have a beetle set to their own group. Because otherwise I'll just like lose them. Reactivated this obelisk. The frozen throne is nearly ours. Okay, so Illidan's taken the third. And I, I don't really care about that right now. I just uh I I gotta make sure like I can defend the last one and then that should be good. Um but yeah, so after Illidan takes a obelisk, he uh, sets up a base there. And that, that actually, <laughs> we actually get some rather amusing interactions later on, because uh, I think at one point he, he took an obelisk and I took it back like right after him, but he still like sent his uh, base building minions over, so I was trying to fight them off while taking the uh, obelisk. We'll see that. Yeah, so I'm just doing a bunch of research right now. Just trying to upgrade everybody. Uh, I realized, like, oh, okay, I need more wood. So I'm making another ghoul to put on the wood. Our town is under attack. No one. There's another Vash attack. Speak, fool. Speak. I find the beetles are uh, very handy. They, uh... I, I, can't, I can't remember if they do good damage or not, but uh, they, they tend to absorb damage a lot. And then they also get like cyclones on them, like rather than my big good units. So they're, they're kind of like little mini tanks. So there I am uh, upgrading the uh, obsidian destroyers. I want those. Get the ghoul and wood. Starting to actually get a decent amount of wood, so now I'm uh I, I need to upgrade to Black Citadel. I think I was trying to decide if I wanted to upgrade to Black Citadel here or in the uh, other uh, one, because like if you if you upgrade like the ones Where near the obsidian the or near the obelisks, I uh, like I said, they're just really big, beefy ziggurats, you know, pew pewing, but uh. Instead, I just, I'm just like, okay, let's put some ziggurats and the, you can only put the ziggurats on like the dirt, like all that, uh, stone work. You can't, you can't put them on there. So it's very annoying trying to, uh, place them. So I've made the obsidian destroyers just in time for an attack. I just got to fly them over. You look different. I guess the school of Gul'dan did agree with you. As you can see, you can just, uh, you can use them to, uh, get rid of the frost shields on the Illidan's troops. And that gives, uh, the destroyers some mana, which they use for big DPS. Well, I assume it's big. I don't actually know how much they do, but, uh, they're, they're pretty good at, uh, helping out against Illidan's forces. When they're in this form, they count as, like, okay, so when they're in their statue form, they count as, like, mechanical or units or something. But in this form, uh, the count is, like, undead, so I can actually heal them with death coil. 
So I can see Kale's horse is coming. Uh, Kale is kind of annoying, or at least his, his phoenix is pretty annoying. I think I... it's considered like a conjured unit. Unfortunately, I don't think the, uh... Obsidian Destroyer's Devour Magic works on it unless it's like on the ground. Are you still upset that I stole Jaina from you, Kale? You've taken everything I've um, ever cared for, Arthur. I also think it's immune to magic, so I don't think the right, destroyers can attack it with like just regular attacks. So I'm just trying to get them to uh, kill Kale at the very least, so we can stop uh, flame striking on my units. Speak, fool. So here come some uh, flying units. It's a long, I don't really have much way of dealing with them right now. Um, so I'm, I'm trying to like lure them back to the uh, main forces. I'm also letting the uh, dragon hawks that are clouding my abilities to do so because you know if they're clouding my buildings then they aren't attacking me right? Then I can go and finish them off. India. Speak, fool. Doing upgrades. I haven't quite realized yet. I, I don't know if you can see if they're actually. Oh yeah, there we go. I'm like, so I'm like, hey, why are they not moving? And, and I realize like, oh, they're they're actually stuck. Come on, where are you? Right. So I'm like, oh, they're stuck. So I, I gotta get a. <laughs> I gotta and summon the uh, ziggurat. And then they can escape. Yes, it was a bit weird because like the obsidian statues when they spawn they were like in front of the slaughterhouse but for some reason the uh, meat wagons were behind it. I, I don't know why they did that. It might be because I put the uh, rally point in that direction. It might be based on that. So I'm keeping the, the meat wagons kind of hidden in this alley here because uh, I don't really want them to be attacked. They're high priority targets and I need them for the necromancers to make skeletons with. Okay, so I can see Illidan's coming so I'm trying to get everybody into place. Um, the annoying things about meat wagons and necromancers and skeletons is that uh you, you gotta kind of have the meat wagon sort of in like in front of the necromancers so the skeletons will be you know kind of in front of them so if, if you have the meat wagons behind the necromancers then they <laughs> all the skeletons spawn behind them and then sometimes they have trouble actually getting to the front yards but or the front lines but then uh the meat wagons are vulnerable so i, I do kind of figure out a way around that earlier Yeah, there we go. I fended off Illidan's attack. Still lost quite a few units though. Okay, right, and there's the beetle up in the air on the cyclone. I'd rather have the beetle cyclone than my other units. So I'm like, okay, I need a shade thing because I do want to make frost worms later. And then I also want another Temple of the Damned. Uh, and that'll be kind of useful later because then I can make necromancers much faster. Research complete. And the research is getting close to done. Town is under attack. Oh there's Vash. She went and summoned a cyclone on my ziggurat which was annoying. See, I like I didn't really leave that many defenses behind. I'm like, oh, I hope it doesn't destroy my crit. Uh, it, eventually, uh, y you don't need to defend this base. Like, I, I don't need to defend this base from Kale because he he always goes after my uh, obelisk base. But Vash will come after this base occasionally. So we, we want to get rid of Vash. So I don't have to worry about wasting resources defending this base. Okay, so I'm preparing for an attack on Vash's base. Uh, 
All my uh, research is basically done. I, I got... I'm basically a max unit, so almost. Um, I'm just making some spiders to go along. I think maybe to act as like a bit of a defense. I can't quite remember if I bring them along with me or if I just leave them in my one uh, obelisk base. Oh yeah, there we go, making the save file. I'm so good at naming my save files. I think at this point I'm just basically waiting for an attack from Illidan. Or actually no, I, I made that save file so I'm like kind of yellowing it. Because I was like, oh, if I get attacked I could just reload. No one orders me around. Ah, uh, at last. Speak, fool. So here's my strategy. I summon the skellies outside of town and then just send them in. What is it now? Along with the scarabs. As you can see, if the skellies are summoned too far from the battle, they won't charge in. Which is rather annoying. And Kale's forces are coming in hot. Yeah, that's why I left some units in the back. Let's see how they fare. So meanwhile, Vash's base is uh, slowly being destroyed. Sending in my skellies. Gotta, gotta keep my eye on the skellies so they actually go in using the revive zombies thing. Oh, and there's Illidan's forces coming in from the east. Yeah, I'm reloading. So now I'm just gonna like wait around for uh, them to attack. And then I'm gonna go attack Vash's base. I'm also fixing my groups a bit. Um, I actually want all the necromancers in their own group. So uh, I could just like quickly swap them and hit like raise and dead rather than, you know, swap to the group and then select the ne necromancers and then hit raise and dead. It's just like one last key Let's press. Uh, moving my shade to be able to better see, or hopefully better see uh, Kale's movements. Mm -hmm. Here comes Kale. So now I'm gonna get him with the full force of my army. And one thing I learned in this mission was a. Uh, the uh, blood knights can actually take control of your scarabs. I didn't like. It makes sense because they're conjured units, but uh, it's it's not something I really thought about until seeing it myself. So I'm just tr making sure the necromancers aren't like dying. Um, and then once you get a few corpses on the ground, you can hit raise and dead, and then it kind of snowballs for, from there in your favor. They did destroy all, uh, a bunch of ziggurats, so yeah, oh, and there's Illidan's forces. So I'm like, oh shit, my, my uh, meat wagons. Summon the skillies. Uh, and then trying to devour all the, uh, all the shields of the devourers or destroyers. Okay, so I fixed the groups. I still have a pretty decent army. I still have like three meat wagons. Um, I, I really need to go kill Vash's base before we get attacked again. 
Oh, and we just got attacked by Vash's forces, which is a good thing, because uh, that means there's slightly less forces in her base. Okay, so we're preparing for the attack. Uh, I'm not really sure where, I'm, where I can put the blade. I tried putting it in the water. Uh, I think... I think it is there. You can see it on the map. You can't see it like on the ground though. Uh, summoning my skeletons. Sending them in. Go my skeleton army. Slay the Naga. Right. So now, now I'm sending the uh, main forces in. The, the skeletons are there to kind of soften up the Naga. Sending in the meat wagons, sending in the destroyers. Getting the uh, skeletons in. This is mostly just a, a matter of micromanaging the skeletons to make sure the necromancers and meat wagons don't die. And also trying to make sure the uh, destroyers uh, can eat the shields. I think one of them died. Go, my skeletons, go! Kill them, kill them all! Uh, Arthas not looking too great. Um, I think I get him to like eat a beetle or a skeleton or something. No, maybe not. I think I forgot. There's, there's just so much. And this is why I do voiceovers, because like I'm just focusing so much uh, on microwing. Like there's no room in my brain for talking. There are Arthas leveled, and there I finally remember a way I can eat skeletons for health. Uh, so making sure the meat wagons are still attacking. Uh, trying to get a noob on the NPCs rather than the uh, coral beds. Getting the uh, meat wagons. I, I finally figured out how like shift works. Uh, making a bunch more units. I'm like, okay, I need more wheat wagons, I need more necromancers, because you really gotta constantly be making units. Uh, now, I don't think I've actually lost a whole lot of units. I'm still at like, what is that, like 91 out of 100. But, uh, you, do, you don't want to be in a, caught in a situation where you're, you're too low on units and, oh no, Illidan and Kale are coming for you, and you don't have enough time to build them back up again. Um, right, so we've gotten this base. So Vash's base is down, which is good. So now I'm like checking out up, up here. I'm like, okay, there's polar bears. And I'm like, okay, you know, Arthas and Anub, they, they can handle some polar bears. And I guess a meat wagon too, they can come. Um, right, so the necromancers are... Last. Over there. And I, I want to send the Necromancers back. I can see Kale is coming. I can see the red on the mini-map coming my way. So sending the Destroyers back, sending the Necromancers back, sending the Meat Wagon back. Except for that one Meat Wagon, which I, I think it's a rally to Arthas or something. And I, I killed the Polar Bearers. I didn't want the item they dropped. There is a item in the water there. I don't think I ever noticed it. Uh, I think uh, it, it's like the uh, when you destroy the altars that summon or that uh, revive Bash and Kale, they drop items. But I don't think I ever picked the items up. I think I did notice the one that Kale dropped. I'm only just noticing the Bash one now while recording this and watching the video back. Flame streaked my unit. But yeah, the Necromancer army has arrived. Uh, I think there's. Oh, and there's Illidan, of course. He's 
See, this is what happens. You get, you get Kale on one side, then Illidan on the other, and then everything goes south. So I'm like, oh shit, summon skeletons. Got my skeleton army. I think Kale died, so that's good. Now I just gotta worry about Illidan. Uh, getting the, the destroyers to eat up all the shields. That, that heals the destroyers and gives them mana. Uh, most of my necromancers are dead. At least the ones in the groups. I think there's more necromancers that aren't in the group. And I'm like, yeah, more, more necromancers. More necromancers. Oh yeah, they destroyed my, uh, my necropolis here. Can't remember if I ever remake that. That's a lot of bodies on the ground. So as you can see, destroyer is very useful. I wish only to serve. So I'm like, yeah, let's make another one of those. It, it, it says they cannot summon there. I don't think. Where shall my blood be spilled? I, I never figured out like yes. why it says that. It like eventually just starts working, and I don't know why. So I'm finally claiming the obelisk. <laughs> Now it's a matter of building up the units. I do have time now because I did just fend off a uh, Kale and Illidan. Also realize this gold mine's about to end. So I'm sending the Alkalite down to get the new gold mine that I just got. Bash's gold mine, and that never gets attacked. I just, you know, have a gold mine there of like five alkalites, and it never gets touched. Making the dragons now. Uh, or the dragon summoning thing. They're, they're, they're kind of are useful. They're useful for getting Kale's base, and then after that. I, I don't know, they, they kind of end up dying a lot. And they're like super intensive on resources take up a lot of food they're they're useful in certain situations but not all situations so now i'm scouting up kale's base because uh, that's my next target so at this point my uh other gold mine is starting to run out of gold and uh i, I want at least like two gold mines kind of at all times um because even though I have like, uh, I think like 11,000 gold right now, I, you do go through it rather quickly. Because uh, you're constantly rebuilding units. So I think at this point I'm just kind of waiting for another Illidan attack and then I'll go take up, I'll go take that uh, Western Obelisk and then start preparing for uh, Kale's base. All right, here comes Kale, so I summoned a bunch of skeletons, uh, sending them in first, of course. That seems to be a really good idea, because then they all focus on the skeletons. I think I'm trying to see if I can uh, devour the uh, phoenix, but I don't think a, the uh, obsidian destroyer's devour works on uh, flying units. I managed to kill the egg. Uh, Kale is trying to flame strike my <laughs> meat wagons. I managed to get them out in time. They're still very damaged, but I can summon skellies from them, which is what matters. Oh, and there's Illidan. Great. And there goes my meat wagons. Okay. So I'm like, so I'm like okay, guys, get get over. Get, Illidan's attacking. Trying to get the shields down, trying to get the skellies. I'm wondering if the scarabs uh, count as like hero units and that's why they're constantly getting cycloned. If the AI thinks it's a uh, 
targeting Arthas or Anub. Okay, so I have my forces back in order. Um, getting in place, getting ready for taking that western obelisk. What is it now? The dead shall serve. Send in the skellies in. No one knows the matter, Arthas. Can't you hold one small patch of ground? Okay, I forgot to bring my uh, destroyers over quick enough. Now they're here. Summon the skellies and then get back. That one of them dead. I think we're making headway though. More skillies, get over there. Our forces are under attack. Okay, got some frost worms now. I'm sending them over to the uh, southern base, just like to have a bit of defense, because I know Illidan's going to come out soon. Oh, there he is. The restless dead await. So I'm like, okay, we gotta get the skellies out again. Illidan's coming to defend his obelisk. Um, and I think earlier I mentioned Illidan's AI. I think he always prioritizes defending his uh what what bases he has around the obelisk uh rather than attacking you so if you destroy his base or in the midst of destroying his uh like mini bases uh he'll go that direction rather than try and attack uh, your unprotected base other times he, he does seem like if, if you have two bases and you aren't attacking his base and he has a choice between the two he does seem to uh go for the one that's least protected. So I noticed uh, he'll kind of hesitate and kind of go back and forth if, you, if you're kind of doing the same, like if you have units in the middle. And then once you kind of like go a certain direction, he'll commit like to the other direction or something. It, it's not like 100% though. I, I'm not quite sure how uh, the AI works. The restless dead await. Yeah, I'm capped on food, so I can't <laughs> turn the uh, statues into destroyers. I also have another uh, statue over there that I think, yeah, there we go, I noticed it. So I'm like, okay, you guys are on healing duty for a while. Um, capturing, capturing the uh, western obelisk, and I'm like, okay, gotta get the alkalites uh, up here. That's two more gold mines I can grab. I'm starting to get, get into the position where I was uh, the first day of attempts where I have two bases, except this time Vash's base is gone, uh, so I don't have to worry about her. I can just focus on Kale now. Okay, so I have these. I have about four necromancers and two frostworms. I read online that if you like cast Unholy Frenzy on the frostworms, they do like big damage, but uh... In the end, I found that they they weren't very good at defending against Illidan. He he's just too powerful. Um, at least not that amount of frostworms and necromancers. Now, what I should be doing now right now is setting up another necropolis at the western base and like setting up ziggurats. Like I can't quite set up ziggurats yet because I need blight, but uh, like I, I should be doing that. All right. They're coming. There, there we go, trying the uh... I'm like, yeah, send in the drakes. See how well they do. Uh, spoiler alert, they don't do very well. I mean, maybe they do okay, I don't know. I, I can never tell, like, what's going on in these... Uh, in these fights. Like, I know you can hit, like, 
I think alt and that turns on the health bars. But like I, I can never tell like whose health bar is whose. Like they're not really color coded. Like the color coding is like, oh it's green when they're near full health and red when they're low on health, but are they friendly or are they not? I don't know. Summoning the skeletons. Sending in the destroyers. I finally have enough food I can have all the destroyers. Uh, meat wagons make good, well not really good tanks, but they uh, they can certainly aggro. And yeah, I'm losing all my destroyers at this point. I'm, and I'm like, okay, this defense isn't working. I gotta bring Arthur's in. And right, right then, uh, <laughs> we're getting attacked in the north or the uh, on the west. Oh, it's dragon hawks. At least with these. So usually I don't really like the mage skeletons because it's like harder to macro them with uh, the two types of skeletons. You, you know, you can't just like double click on them and have all the skeletons selected. You gotta do that twice. But uh, in this case, having ranged skeletons is actually very useful. So we managed to fend off Illidan. Um. Yep. And then they're doing not well. Not not quite. Not very good. I lost a lot of necromancers. Where shall my blood be spilled? My life for Yes, master. And I need to get those guys on there. I gladly obey. And this is why I just constantly need more gold, even though I have 10,000 gold. I'm just constantly making more ziggurats. Mm, here comes Illidan again. I, I don't really have a good defense here either. <laughs> I've just got to kind of hold them off with what I have. Luckily the destroyers are uh, good here. Okay, so I, I'm i sort of prepared now to attack uh, Kale's base. Um, I'm gonna make a save state soon. And then right after that we're gonna get attacked. And uh, I will be showing- oh yeah, there they come. So I'm like, okay, they're coming, I better make a save state. Just. Yeah, my names aren't the best, but uh... Okay, so what you're about to see is kind of a failed attempt. Attempt. So I'm like, okay, Kill's, Kill's forces are here. Um, I'm just kind of hunkering down in this little area. That's actually not- this is, this is not a good place to be fighting Kill. Um, and then right as Kale attacks, Illidan is also going to attack. And uh, now there's two directions Illidan could go. He can go to this base, the western obelisk, or to the southern obelisk. And uh, doing this a few times, it kind of varied which way he'd go. Anyway, so first I'm gonna attack. Uh, I'm gonna attack uh, Kale. Oh yeah, and there goes Kale, uh, flame striking all my units. And uh, Ill Illidan is down south, uh, currently attacking my southern base. So I'm like, oh shit, Illidan's attacking. Let's uh, try my unholy frenzy strategy again. Send them in, send the skillies in. Oh, I'm hoping Arthas and Co. can handle whatever's left of Kale's forces. Um, so they finished off, so I'm like, okay, I better go stop Illidan. 
And I, I've lost like quite a few forces to Kale because like that flame strike was just devastating. Uh, so at the end of this, I'm gonna have like way too few units to be able to attack Kale's base. And of course, then by the time you make like replenish your units, you know they're already attacking again. So what do you do? So this is a case of me trying various strategies. Uh, um, yeah, there there was a few times where I I'd, I'd, I'd fight off Kale, and then I'd go attack his base, and I, I just wouldn't work out. Anyways, I did eventually find a working strategy, which I'll get to in a minute. This, this is just me showing you the uh, kind of like the failed attempt. So they, here, um, Illidan pretty much wipes me. So at this point I'm like, okay, I, I just, like, I'm still kind of trying, but then after a while I realize, like, okay, let, let's just reload. Let's try that again. And, it, it, and I tried again, like, I don't know, five times. And then currently no what I'm showing you game. is the victorious so attempt. So you'll see me immediately. Uh, so I'm taking my defense group and I'm just like moving them over here. I'm like, cause I am, my plan is to sacrifice this base. We're using this as the bait base, and like I'm hoping Illidan goes for that base, um, and not this base, and then that'll give me time to uh, attack Kale's base. So uh, I put some blade down for Arthur. So as you can see, I'm readjusting the groups. So that one defense group I had, uh, that one defense group I had is no longer a defense group. It's uh, currently being part, made part of the uh, main group. So there goes Kale uh, flame striking. But he actually flame strikes just like a really silly spot. Uh, and, and I'm like, okay, I, I need some, I need some buildings because I have not built up de decent defenses around here. So while they're fighting Kale, I'm like, okay, I, I need as many like ziggurats and here's possible just like build so many okay speak fool the restless dead await so i have ended up kale i'm like okay i need some i need a bunch of necromancers and while i wait for that i need i need to um Build defenses. I think I, I think I'm still like figuring out the groups right now. Yeah, no, that that doesn't work on uh, flying units. I'm also like, oh yeah, I, I'm gonna need another uh, shop because I need the shop in order to make the obsidian destroyers. As well as more dragons. So I think in past attempts at this point, like I'd go be like, oh, well, I have my army. I, let's go fight Illidan right now. And uh, I'd just kind of like lose. But uh, this time I'm just li I'm letting him have the base because after he takes a base, there there's like several minutes of reprieve where he's he won't just constantly be attacking you. So I'm going to use that to my advantage to uh, go assault Kale's base. But first I need to build up my forces again. So Arthas, I'm going to actually put use a blight thing here because I, I need to build up defenses. So there's a the necropolis. I, I just need like a building there to be bulky. And I'm literally stuffing as many ziggurats in here as I physically can. One of the beauties of uh, playing undead is that uh, you, you can do this, just like make a whole bunch at once. And then yeah, and I'm upgrading the uh, necropolis so it can shoot things. And it's also a bit bulkier. And I'm like, okay, we, we gotta go. 
We gotta go. So I'm preparing my forces for the assault. I have to do this. I can't like rush it, but I also can't like take too much time. So I just uh, I send in the skeletons, of course. Step one: send in skeletons. Send in the skelly boys. Um, then I just kind of go in, get the uh, catapults or meat wagons to target the towers. Everybody's targeting the towers. And then here's Kale's forces, and I don't wanna- I wanna like, kill all these forces before I go in. Um, you don't wanna like, push forward too quickly. And then while that's happening, I'm upgrading all of these. And then there's the egg. Destroy the egg! Yeah, I think I'm keeping my necromancers back, so I really can't have the necromancers dying. Uh, using Arthas' ability just to kind of help out here. Moving in the meat wagons. I'm just kind of letting the uh, scarabs be the main infantry. As well as the... Uh, Now I'm bringing in the necromancers. Making more skelly boys. Getting them in there. And this is kind of tricky, like, to micro all of this, because it's like... Your units will rush it, like, ahead of you before you're ready. You've got to make sure they don't do that. Um, so trying to keep the meat wagons in the back, trying to keep the necromancers in the back, trying to get the, the, uh... But, like, I still want the meat wagons to be, like, targeting buildings. But I also need, like, to make skeletons and keep the skellies going in. So just very systematically trying to get in there. Trying try to destroy the uh, altar so Kale doesn't revive. I don't really want to deal with him again. Prioritizing that, trying to get the couple glaives so we can stop attacking my meat wagons. Bring a meat wagon back. Um, the tower. More skelly boys. Just endless skeletons. Now what I want to do is like, kind of rush the castle and then destroy everything, but uh, I, I can't like overextend myself. I have to kind of slowly push in or else uh, I risk uh, wiping. Uh, Arthas is back there for some reason. I have no idea why he's back there. My meat wagons are still alive. I'm trying to carefully uh, get them to destroy like towers and things. Uh, Anub is, I, I don't know what Anub is doing. He's just doing things. So you may have noticed that they, they've they gone and built another altar and I didn't actually notice that uh, until like later, until Kale, they, they managed to revive Kale. <laughs> and I'm like, wait, why is there a second altar? And I, I thought they actually like had two altars, like as a trick, but no, they actually rebuilt it. Um, so I'm just kind of casually, you know, just trying to destroy all the unit producing buildings. Anub is going after the uh, peasants, which I'm fine with. And I was going after a tower. Another thing that you have to be kind of careful is like they'll really go after like farms and stuff and it's like no stop going for farms. I need you to go after unit producing towers. See they're, they're um, building the building. So now I'm like okay we gotta we got go after the castle. I, got, I gotta Destroy the unit, like the peasants. The uh, we're, they're not peasants; they're like workers, because uh, they're elves. They're unionized. Um, I'm like, you know, we've got a. Oh, and there's Kale. I was like, oh shit, where? Did, why is Kale here? And uh, I'm trying to get the uh, meat wagon kind of like away from Kale. He's got the phoenix out. It, it's a bit. 
chaotic right now because I'm, I'm like, okay, I want to destroy this aviary so it, it's not producing units. Oh yeah, and now um, Illidan is coming. He's coming after my base, my Western Obelisk base. I'm like, oh shit! I really gotta like finish off these this place like quickly. Um, yeah, I'm like seven more skellies, seven more skellies. Hey, I think yeah, I made dragons. They're on their way. Uh, I think my me wagons are all dead at this point, but I have uh, two dragons here. And I'm like... And the Illidan is slowly crushing his way through my ziggurats and you know if he destroys... If he completely just like it, if he completely destroys the base he goes to the uh, obelisk and I lose. But um... I mean if he was a human he could just like run there right now and I would lose but luckily he is a computer AI and they are programmed to uh, blast their way through all these things so now I'm like oh shit okay, I really gotta slow them down so I send my flying units and I'm like okay can, can I like just like distract them for a bit yeah like, like I'm not even I know I, I can't like fight them at this point I'm like okay Arthas I need Arthas down here like ASAP um and I managed to pull some of them out. I'm like, okay, old old dragons to the western obelisk. I, I need to, <laughs> I need to slow Illidan down. Uh, all new units, all, any kind of necromancers. Uh, and there's Arthas and Noob. There's um, I, I do still leave some units up there because like I can't let them rebuild. So any any um I need them to destroy the castle and I need them to uh, destroy any workers that pop out of the castle so they don't like rebuild. Um. So I I just barely manage to fend Illidan off. It, it's very close. All, all my ziggurats are destroyed. Um. I I'm, do not have a whole lot of units. I still have just like these guys. I'm like, okay guys, now attack the castle. Stop attacking the lumber mill. And you can see the item there on the ground. That's from the first altar. It's like a... I, I, I never picked it up. A Helm of Valor, I think it was. So yeah, there, there I go with my very... Meager, my last minute defense, my last minute save. And uh, yeah, the castle's gone, all the units are destroyed. Yeah, I've, I've finally taken Kale's base. So that was a success. A very close, uh, high heartbeat success. I wish only to Okay, and here I go making another save state because I I got both the bases destroyed. I've built up my forces again and uh, I got a bit of a defense uh, in the last place. So I'm getting ready pretty soon to get on to the next part of the mission, which is what I like to call the Earth Basin portion of the mission, where you go around... Uh, taking bases while they take your bases and you just gotta take them faster than they can take them. It's rather... Uh, it's a bit chaotic. And here comes Illidan again. But this time I'm better prepared. And I got like five dragons and three destroyers so he's not gonna last very long. He did get quite a few of my necromancers though. Okay, so here comes Illidan. I'm just uh I waited for his next attack. I am ready to progress to the next base, but uh, I just gotta make sure to stop him. I'm sending in the skeletons because I want as few casualties as possible. And then sending in the dragons. 
I know, Illidan has a bunch of quaddles. Um, apparently they can, like you can detect what kind of units he has, so since I have a bunch of flying units, uh, he sent those in. So I'm, I'm mainly worried about my necromancers dying. Okay, so we're actually looking pretty okay, except for the necromancers, but like I, I want to move. I'm like, okay, Ilden thwarted. Uh, let us go attack. What is it? What does the shadow So southern base first. And then uh and then the eastern base, and then hopefully I can go right to the northern base. I don't think I can. I mean, at the time, I don't think I can. Right now, I know I can't, because there, there's a bunch of water between, like, the eastern base and the northern base. So you have to kind of go all the way back around. So I have to... Oh, well, we'll you'll see. As the shadow wills. So, step what one, send in the skeletons, just to kind of weaken them. Go, my skeleton army. More skeletons. Go, go, go. Never ending skeletons. I'm sending in the meat wagons to destroy the places. Setting up the dragons to freeze the, uh, well, not really towers or snakes in a bowl. Okay, so I send an Arthas to get it, and then, and then I can see Illidan coming. Okay, so Illidan fought off. Uh, I am looking a bit more hurt. Uh, so I'm just gonna like remake some units and then uh... And then we're gonna go! On to the next. I, I decide not to put any defenses up on this one. Uh, I try going this way and it's like, oh no, there's water. Unfortunately, I am not Illidan Stormrage. I cannot walk on water. Speak. Restless dead await. The dead shall serve. No one orders me. I still have my meat wig and still have my necromancers. Still have a decent amount of uh, drakes and uh, obsidian destroyers. So I'm, I'm sort of getting everybody back in position and heading towards the next one. Tread lightly. The restless dead await. Sending in the skeletons. Okay, so we've basically cleared out the space. There is like a, some more Naga to the east there. I want to clear them out too. But I'm going to send Arthas. Actually, I think I changed my mind. I think I was going to send Arthas there, but um, I know it's Illidan coming down. So I, I do want to like intercept him. 
It's a bit tricky. So this is kind of the difficulty no in the mission and that it's hard to defend a base. Like you, you can't travel very quickly between your bases. Yeah, I just end up losing a bunch of my flying units. I think, uh, do I change my mind of this or I, I think I fend them off. I can't remember exactly what I do here. I only have like one destroyer left. Our forces are under attack. What Ooh, and North is dead. Our hero has been killed. Our power is under attack. Yeah, okay, so Illidan ends up winning this fight, I think. Eventually I'm like, okay, everybody... Everybody out. By everybody, I just mean a noob. He's the only one left alive and he doesn't stay alive for very long. Yeah. I, I do <laughs> try and, like, send some necromancers in to, like, make some skellies. But then I'm like, okay, you know, I don't want to, like, lose my units. I have not a whole lot of units right now. So I'm kind of sending them back to uh, my outposts. Uh, Turning those back into destroyers. I got dragons now. Actually, did I grab this? No, it's the eastern one I didn't grab. That's right. I just I just destroyed the Naga base there and then I left. At least that's how I think it is. So we have one obelisk right now, and that is the southern one, and it is completely unguarded. Like if Illidan were smart and he just ran over there, he could claim it with like no resistance. I mean, I I try to resist, but he'd probably uh, mop the floor with me in my current state. And I haven't had made a save state in a while. Um, I can't remember when my last save state was, but it was like 20 minutes earlier, maybe even half hour. Quite a bit of lost uh, time if I had to reset, so I'm trying to avoid it. So I'm like, okay, now we get we got enough forces. Let's uh, let's go in. Let's attack them. And I'm very concerned right now, because like I said, uh, I don't exactly have a great defense going on. <laughs> if Illidan goes, uh... Oh yeah, there he is. Oh. All my necromancers are dying. I still have plenty of, uh, skeletons though, so I'm trying to get them out. Trying to get the uh Yeah, quite the battle going on. I should also mention in a lot of these battles I have like no idea what's going on. It's very hard to keep track of units. Um right now it's not too bad, but like Sometimes when taking a base, when you got like a million skeletons and Naga everywhere and you, you can't really keep track of the heroes. Like I, I usually have no idea where Earth this is. Oh yeah, he just died. I, I was, I got a bit like, <laughs> see right now I'm like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Because uh, um, I was like, I need to take the Opus back, but then I, I kind of forgot about the, uh, or I got distracted and forgot about the um, Naga towers and then it killed 
killed Orthus. I kind of thought like I'd kill it, but then I think they had fresh Naga come, and I was like, oh, I should kill those first. Also, I think my meat wagons died. Um, so right now I'm like, oh shit. I think the thing that saved me was that uh, Illidan just died too. Okay, so Arthas no is alive again, so I'm rushing him over. Now he has a clear uh, shot at the obelisk. So Illidan's uh, back now. Um, he he already owns that obelisk. I think he I think they just go there and then they like the AI checks like. Oh hey, I own this obelisk, and then it sends in like worker units or something. I, I don't really want to like have to retake that base because I only like I just destroyed the buildings and I left. I don't want to have to do that all again, but um, I don't have much of a choice. I got to rebuild my units. He's leaving. Where is he going? Oh, he's coming. Okay, so he's coming to the southern obelisk now. And I'm like, okay, I, I don't want to lose that. Um. I think I, I might be able to hold him off with what I have. Oh yeah, and I, I, now I have the ghouls. I'm like, okay, ghouls, um, like come, come fight for me. We have enough wood. Big fight in the middle here. And I turn on auto cast, raise undead because I. I gotta focus on other things. Buildings coming after my necromancers. Here comes the meat wagon. Go my skillies. Do I remember to use raise undead? Arthas's ultimate ability? Probably. Come on, cl click the button. Come on, me. I don't know. I think everybody's. I think Illidan's force has got thwarted there. So I'm like, okay, I don't need it. Um. Speak, fool. Tread lightly. So I'm like, okay, let's let's go to the eastern base. I know if they've rebuilt, so I'm like, okay, wait, 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 retreat, retreat. They haven't, like, fully rebuilt, but they've rebuilt enough where I kind of... Giving it pause. Alright, more, more necromancers, and I do have them rally to either Anub or Arthas, I can't quite remember. Basically, just trying to keep my units alive. Use swarm and noob. I'm like, okay, I really got to uh, clear out this base again and set up at least somewhat of a defense. I send in Arthas to claim the obelisk, just so we have a bit of leeway in case a uh, Illidan goes for the other two. Because as I mentioned, I have like zero defenses up on any of them right now. Sometimes you just gotta sacrifice an obelisk temporarily so you can kind of claim an area. The restless dead await. Oh, here comes Illidan. He's mad that I took his obelisk. It's really just a constant battle. It's like, it's like I said, it's a game of Artha base and you're just capturing the flags and then they come for your base and then you, get, you gotta go capture other flags and meanwhile they come and hit you from behind. I think, yeah, I end up retreating. I'm like, okay, we were not prepared for that. Let's uh, retreat back. And yeah, it's a lot of back and forth for quite a while. I think I'm just gonna skip to where I actually make progress. This better be 
Okay, so I'm like, let's go. Let's uh, take back the base. Um, Illidan's gone right now. So I'm like, you know, if we can kind of take it before they, uh, if they re before they remake it fully. And then I put Arthas on the thing. I think that was accidental. I don't think I actually wanted to do that. Uh, I, he just happened to run over it. So I'm like, okay, I guess we're taking this now. I think my idea was to leave it on Conquered and like hope that uh, Illidan wouldn't um, wouldn't like come over here. But Illidan was over on the western side. So right now we're just trading all the lists. Okay, so now I have enough forces. Now I'm gonna go for the little mini base. And oh wait, never mind. Here come some more forces. Is it Illidan? I can't quite remember. Oh yeah, there's Illidan. Okay. So this is what I mean, where it's like just like constant. <laughs> you're like, okay, I'm prepared to attack, and Illidan's like, haha. No, you are not. Um. And yeah, I'm like, okay, more necromancers to um, to replace the ones that die. Some as many skeletons as possible before they all die. Uh, Arthas seems to be going down. I have no mana, so I can't eat any uh, undead. So now I'm like, okay, you know what? Let's, let's go for this little mini base over here. This is like the best time to go after it. <laughs> Maybe not the best, but it's like the only time. I'm leaving Arthas there to uh, regen. Uh, sending the skellies over. Uh, right, I have acolytes there. I think I was just about to build a base. Um, here when uh, Illidan attacked. Not exactly a lot of options on where to put a necropolis. I also want that uh, other gold mine on the east there up the little slope. Okay, necromancers getting back up. There's actually a little... There's actually some more Naga, like, north uh, from where I am right now, but uh, I actually forgot about that. I think I, I found it the first attempt when I was scouting with the Shade. Um, and for a while, like, well, I just have, like, random Naga coming to attack me. Oh, yeah. So my gold mine is still there, but they just keep... They just put a tower right beside it, so for... A while I just get the notice. Oh, your town's being attacked. It's like, yeah, I know. Oh yeah, so there's one of those like random Naga that show up. Um, like I said, they're from the base slightly to the north. I don't know if I ever go destroy it or not. I think I just haunt the gold mine and, and leave the area. Oh yeah, so Illidan's going after the southern base right now. I can see him on the mini-map. I'm, I'm kind of okay with letting them have that southern base because it's easier for me to access than the uh, eastern base. Like the eastern and northern base are the hardest ones to get to because uh, they're the farthest from your base. Yep, Illidan's posse just sitting there to the south without Illidan. For some reason. Like usually they wait out his base like for him to revive and then come with them. I think uh, I want to like go kill them, but I'm not actually like ready to yet. No. Another one, another Naga coming for my Alcoids. Weirdly, after a while, they start coming. I'm sorry, stop coming. Yeah, I'm like finally like okay, you know what? Screw it. I'm putting ziggurats everywhere. Oh yeah, as you can see, I'm also like finally running out of gold. <laughs> Oh, and there comes Illidan. So I'm like, you know, you know, I, I need to like go kill those Naga down south. Speak, fool. Tread like this better than fool. 
What is it now? What does the shadow wound? No one orders me the dead around. shall serve. And I'm actually no one I'm letting him do his thing there because I'm thinking, okay, if he's channeling in the thing, that means he's not like there to attack me. But I, I take a bit too long to uh get there with my units. What is it? Summon So summon the skillies. And I have to get them like out of the way so the skillies can move in. And see, I took too long, so now Illidan's here. This is where um, a bit of silliness ensues, because I'm trying to take out Illidan's forces, but meanwhile his <laughs> filter units move in. And I'm like, okay, and like I really don't want them like setting up a base here. So uh, it ends up being a bit of a chaotic mess where I'm trying to fight, or I'm trying to like do two things at once. Now I'm popping my ults and both my heroes for once. I, I, I never use them and like I don't know why. They're there for a reason. So I do have my Mii Awakens are still alive so I'm like okay you guys gotta gotta go attack the uh... Gotta go attack the buildings. Um, I think Illidan died. I sent Arthas to the thing. I think I'm hoping it'll like stop the uh, knock if I do that. But as you can see, this whole scenario is rather silly, especially because they keep building like the uh, the little worker murlocs. Like I keep destroying their buildings and then they just immediately start making a new one. So I'm like, please, please kill the worker units. And of course we have Naga coming in from Illidan's base. Um, you know, they're supposed to be the Naga that that uh, guard the base once it's built, but <laughs> they're coming in now. So I'm really trying to like stop them from building these buildings. Like if I can do anything, it's I need to stop them. Stop the worker units. I'm hoping if I can kill all the worker units, they won't send more. See, so yeah, they just immediately start building stuff, and I'm finally like, okay, we we gotta go. I'm out of workers. Finally. Like, okay, let's retreat back to our base. Oh yeah, and then they attack me in my base, which I'm like, why are you guys here? Okay, Illidan's taken the third obelisk, so now I'm like, okay, let's, let's, uh, we, we gotta go take another obelisk back. Okay, so here I, I go attack the western base. Uh, my eastern, eastern base is very undefended right now, so if Illidan went for it, I'd be screwed. Um, But uh, I, I think I think Illidan ends up like coming to defend this base or something. I think his AI prioritizes defending his uh, obelisk that he has rather than going for new ones. That comes in very handy for me. So here comes Illidan. Instead of going to my uh, very poorly defended eastern base. He's coming to uh, defend uh, his current base here. And I do have obsidian destroyers which will help a lot. I have all the skellies and destroyers. Speak, fool. What does the shadow will? His movement does patterns are a bit weird. Will. I'm very curious like how the AI in this game works. I wonder if there's any YouTube videos on it. I'll have to check afterwards. Yeah, it's this kind of mess where I really can't see what's going on. I was hoping I'm winning. Okay, and my forces are big enough, so I'm like, okay, let's uh let's uh move on to the next base. Like very quickly. 
go, my skeletons. Pew pew. Here comes Illidan again. So like I said, I think he actually prioritizes defending the bases that he has. Because he's just walking straight by my eastern base there. Um, to coming to where I am right now. Uh, at this point, I'm actually prepared to defeat him because I just, uh, I mean, I just want a big fight so there's corpses everywhere. I can sub them off the skeletons. I do have some skellies in the back. They're killing the murlocs, which is very handy. And meat wagons are also uh, helping out. The one time that uh, the AI of my own units is actually helpful. So I, I move my necromancers and meat wagons back, so I'm letting the skeletons uh, take down Illidan. We, we gotta get back to the uh, western base, because I, I need to attack the northern base now. Like, I'm prepared. I got three obelisks. Um, Illidan just died. I, I need to get to the northern one. and My plan is just to kind of like distract all the units with skeletons and just uh, run Arthas in. And I, I do have to kill the... I'm not gonna make the mistake like last time where uh, I, I just ran Arthas in and he got pew pewed down. So where is Illidan going? Oh yeah, he's uh... Where is he going? He's coming to the southern place. So I'm like, okay, wait. So I'm like, abort that mission. We, we gotta like defend this area. And I still, like I said, there's still bodies around. So that's gonna actually make it a lot easier for me to defend. Because usually the difficulty is getting the bodies out of the meat wagons and uh, turning them into skeletons. Illidan's here. I kind of accidentally run like one necromancer a bit too close and that like pulls him in but it actually worked out for me. Okay, so there we go, sending the skillies in. It's a great uh, way to like waste their abilities, just like send in a whole bunch of skeletons. <laughs> Send in the uh, destroyers. Okay, and then send in everybody else. Send in the skellies. They did manage to kill a few of my destroyers, but uh. At least my necromancers are still alive, and that's what really matters. So I'm like, okay, we need a couple more. And my meat wagons are still alive, which is good. Elden's dead. And I'm like, okay, we, we gotta, gotta book it. Well, I, I see units coming there, but, uh... Um... What does the shadow will? Okay, maybe not quite yet. Maybe I'm still like, let's kill units. Eventually I do decide to <laughs> just like bum rush the fourth base. Okay, so I'm at, at the very least getting the meat wagons in place because they're the slowest unit. Uh, everybody else can move a lot quicker. What is it now? Ah, dead, I'm like, okay, we go now. I just got to kill those three uh, towers around the Speak. obelisk channel point and then like use skeletons to distract and as long as I get to it before Illidan gets to another one then I'm good. Getting more necromancers just in case. Now we send in the skellies and this is like the biggest of the Naga bases but I, I don't need to defeat it I just need to <laughs> distract them long enough. Uh, I'm like, Arthas, get back. I kind of need you on higher health. So I'm just kind of drawing him out of their base right now. At least trying to. Summon all the skeletons. Get the storm, locust swarm ability going. All the skeletons are trying to kill that turtle. So 
so am I. Okay, everybody in. Kill, killed most of the units. Now we gotta move in a bit more. The trick to this game is you don't want to just like rush in. You gotta kind of like s stay on the outskirts and lure a bunch of units out and then like slowly move in. That's what I've figured out playing this. We're at the end, of course. So I use our offices alt. Um, this is absolute chaos. I cannot see what's going on. I'm just like casting abilities everywhere. I'm like, okay, let's put some blight here. Um, I gotta do a. I'm trying to like break these things because, like I said, I can't have Arthas dying mid cast. Uh, I'm not sure where Illidan is out there. Okay, so Arthas is on the thing, so I'm like, okay, everybody, we, we gotta attack that tower. It's, it's gotta die so Arthas may live. Okay, yeah, there's Illidan attacking my eastern base finally. It's complete. It's basically completely undefended. Um, which I think my scarabs are still over there, but. The, they, I, they're not in the right position. But we, we've basically won at this point. Arthas is channeling. Illidan does not have time to channel himself. I'm just like summoning all the skellies. There we go. Main quest complete. That only took me many, many hours. We've done it, Anubarak. The throne chamber is open. This is the hour of the scourge. Frozen throne is mine, demon. Step aside. Leave this world and never return. If you do, I'll be waiting. I have sworn to destroy it, Arthas. It must be done. Never.
And so, Arthas defeated Illidan and solved climate change on Azeroth. And yeah, that mission took me 2 hours and 20 minutes, and that's not even counting all the times I had to reset. Oh, it was no joke, that's for sure. Okay, well that's the end of the campaign. That was a lot of fun. This game is really fun. Very bad let's play game. Too much thinking required. That means I can't talk. Uh, there will be a couple more episodes, or at least one more episode, doing the bonus campaign. But other than that, this is basically done. So thanks for watching. See you next time.